Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Semi and I will present my work on generalized comprehensive motion theory for high order differential dynamics. First, let me present the motivation behind this paper. We consider the following optimization problem with high order differential quantities. This kind of optimization can be found in musculoskeletal system, inverse optimal control, or for uh, system with elastic joints. To solve this problem, we need to compute its gradient. So how do we compute the partial derivative inside the brackets? Current approach uses numerical differentiation or automatic differentiation. We provide here a new tool called NCMTM, which provides an exact analytical solution. Let's first have a look of uh, NCMTM. We need to have a quick reminder of classic transformation matrices. Homogeneous and spatial transformations represent position and rotation of one frame relative to another frame. The NCMTM does the exact same thing, but also represents angular velocity, linear velocity, angular acceleration, linear acceleration, and all above derivatives. So NCMTM is a transformation matrix and as such behaves like one. Through this presentation, we will use this four link model as a support and define the following. Psi as a vector that concatenates velocity, acceleration, and all above derivative of a joint. S, the joint motion suspects that we will consider a constant here. And zeta, the concatenation of spatial velocity, acceleration, and all above derivatives. Finally, matrix G is a block diagonal matrix composed of motion suspects. Let's build a 3 CMTM. A CMTM can be built recursively following this equation, where the index bracket is a CMTM sum matrix, and where the hat notation simplifies the factorials. The sum matrix of index 0 is defined by the classical transformation matrix. The following sum matrix is computed from the recursion. And then index 2. And finally, sum matrix of index 3. And recursively, we can generate the NCMTM. So the NCMTM is a lower block triangular matrix composed of n plus 1 matrices. We can define the same comprehensive equation as for classic mechanics. For analogy, we will develop both in parallel. From the forward kinematics relationship and the model, we define all link motions and all joint motions. VL and VG are comprehensive motion vectors. The relationship between the two is then given by the matrix L and its inverse. We can now define all comprehensive Jacobians. The comprehensive basic Jacobians maps the comprehensive motion vector Alef to the comprehensive link motion VL, and Alef represents motion of all joints. Then we get the comprehensive link momentum Jacobian, where the matrix M is a block ma diagonal matrix composed of inertia matrices. The comprehensive joint momentum uh, Jacobian. The comprehensive link force Jacobian, where matrix D is a mapping matrix from momentum to force, and the comprehensive joint force Jacobian to finally get the comprehensive torque Jacobian. To have a better under understanding, let's take the following example. We seek for zeta 3 the link motion of link 3. Aleph is a comprehensive joint motion and composed of each joint motions and J3 can be computed from the matrix L and G, which is simply matrix multiplication between uh, NCMTM and G. Let's now see the relationship with the basic Jacobian and its comprehensive version. We differentiate the well-known equation n times. The n-order motion can be computed using this formulation, uh, where the hat notation simplifies the factorials. Transforming the equation into a matrix multiplication, we get the relationship between the basic Jacobian and the comprehensive basic Jacobian. Finally, we can solve our problem. Let's compute each bracket of the gradient. The first bracket is solved using the comprehensive basic Jacobian. The second bracket is solved with the comprehensive link force Jacobian. And the third uh, using the comprehensive torque Jacobian. As a reminder, Reminder, the submatrix corresponding to the desired derivative can be found easily using this representation where A and B are any quantities and J uh, Jacobian. Here is a resume of all tools developed with the NCMTM in this paper. We also provide two open source li libraries. The first one handles the NCMTM and the second one algorithms relative to the NCMTM. 
Thank you for watching.